Hi, this is Andy with Mountain Computers. Today is March uh, 19th. It's Tuesday. I'm going to talk about antivirus programs for a second. Um, I just had a whole bunch of computers come in, um, Macintosh PCs, and I got some people running Linux, switching over Linux from Windows 7. Um, let's talk about antivirus programs, and let me um, just go through the uh, antivirus programs for the desktop. Uh, not necessarily for mobile devices or anything like that, but I pulled up the Wikipedia page, which I've referred to uh, three or four times in the last 20 years, and uh, I'm just going to go down through all the antiviruses, paid and free, and give you my opinions, and then you can comment, ask questions, or whatever. So let's just start at the top. Um, so first of all, uh, OnLab, mm, don't know, Avast, it's okay, good for Mac, not so much for PC, um, AVG, it's okay. Uh, we use that for like XP Vista. Um, it's still supported. Unlike Windows 7, it's sort of like going away. And then Windows 10, not really. But, you know, I'll tell you more about that one here shortly. Avira, that's an interesting one. Bitdefender, um, I can't really say anything bad, but you get my point. Checkpoint, interesting. Uh, makes me think about credit card uh, companies. Um, Clamwin, that's very cool. Sigwin's kind of stuff. Komodo, Fair, Komodo, Komodo, Dr. Web, don't know, ESET, the only one I would pay for, ESET Nod32, uh, they're a great company, um, yeah, Enterprise Edition, even personal, um, F-Secure, very interesting, Command Software, I'm thinking about my ex-Microsoft days where most of our antivirus came out of uh, um, what was in the public, it came out of Florida, uh, Frisk, don't know, I've seen that a couple times, the F-Prot stuff, um, that one's tricky. <clears throat> Fortinet, very interesting. Fortinet, um, their threat center is pretty cool in what they watch for. So I know they do some really cool VPN firewall stuff, so it's good stuff. G Data Software, don't know. Kaspersky Labs, um, unfortunately, America kicked them out. Um, I can tell you about um, different countries and where antivirus come from and some of the myths and what's the facts. McAfee, that one's a pig. Um, I can't tell you how many times that um, antiviruses um, cause problems with computers, and usually the antivirus gets an update or it goes sideways. And McAfee and Norton, those are the two that always cause something to stop working. So I just say, take out the antivirus and see if everything starts behaving normally, and it usually does. That means the antivirus, primarily Norton or McAfee, went sideways on a Windows update or some sort of update, even their own updates, and got jacked up. And so you have to do a removal, put it back in, because you want to you know, keep your subscription, you like paying for it, whatever. McAfee, Microsoft, uh, Security Essentials, uh, been around for a long time. It comes and goes. Um, Nano, Panda, Panda, that was a little painful for a long time. We don't use it anymore. We've had some people pay for it. Out of 20-some thousand different customers, only had like a dozen. I can tell you the numbers here shortly. Um, quote, Keyhost 360, don't know. Quick Heal, don't know. Sophos, that's interesting. That's painful. Cisco, hmm, I don't know. I like their networking. You know, if you're a company that specializes in networking and you try and do other things, hmm, stick with what you know. Charter Television, stick with television. Don't try and be everything else. Don't do email. <laughs> don't do antivirus. You're not good at it. Um, Symantec, very interesting. Uh, the university used to have really big Symantec licensing thing. It was pretty good. 10.5, I believe, for a long time. And then it went, it phased out when Microsoft Security Essentials really kicked in. Um, the monopoly of an operating system and then the manufacturer of the operating system handed an antivirus. Yeah, I, I get that. You know, they know what's going on inside to where the antivirus can be a little bit stronger. But really, they have to share with the antivirus vendors, um, how to make antivi antivirus vendors equally, if not stronger, than their own products. They have to play fair. Trend Micro, oh, that one's tricky when it comes to uninstalling. You know, people put passwords on it where you have to uh, uh, put in a password to uninstall it. That's good if you think some keylogger or somebody like a, a virus is going to remove it. Trust Port, not really. Virus Block Ads, WebRoot, WebRoot. Um, Best Buy gives that away with a free computer. Um, <clears throat> uh, you pay for what you get. Pay for what you get. If it's free, is it really good? I've seen it more of a pain than it is um, working. Out of all the computers that come here with viruses, I think WebRoot 
Bitdefender, IOBit, those antiviruses, whatever, for whatever reason, just don't do the trick. Um, so on the Mac OS, Avast, Avira, Bitdefender, Cisco. I like um, Avira, Avast, that's okay. I use um, AVG Free on Macs. It catches stuff in the plist. Uh, malware. I mean, people used to believe Macs were, you know, not vulnerable. Now they are. Dr. Web again, Komodo. Komodo's really interesting. Mm, their firewall product, very interesting. Uh, ESET, F-Secure again, Itingo, it Intego, Kaspersky again. Can't use Kaspersky, just sort of one of those things, unfortunately. Um, malware bytes, that's not antivirus, that's just malware. They may try and be an antivirus, but mm, no. Stick to what you can know, guys. Sophos, Symantec, Trend Micro, Webroot again. Uh, Linux, AVG, Cisco, Komodo Group. Komodo Group, yeah, their firewall product's really good. Um, don't know about their antivirus, but I've seen Clamwin, I've seen um, the Komodo Group. Frisk again for FProt, FSecure, Fortinet again, Kaspersky, Panda, Quick Heal, Sophos. Oh, even Solaris. So we had Windows, Mac, Linux, Solaris, Cisco, Frisk, Panda, Sophos. Hmm. FreeBSD separately? Well, that's weird. Cisco, Frisk, and Panda. Well, that's interesting. Only three manufacturers on the FreeBSD. BSE, Berkeley Sockets. Mobile. We're not going to go over the mobile stuff. Uh, what other stuff here? Windows Mobiles, Symbian, Blackberry. Wow. That's it. Okay. So, from what I can tell, the antivirus is on Windows. Oh, there's probably 40. Uh, Mac 20. Linux 20. Um, we use Microsoft Security Essentials here at Mountain Computers. And it could be on XP, Vista, uh, Windows 7, Windows 8, and 10. Uh, on the Mac, we use AVG. Now, these are recommendations. They're not endorsements. Uh, uninstall it, reinstall it. Uh, false positives. Think about this. In an organization, you don't want everybody to have the same antivirus because one antivirus will see a virus where another one won't. And you want to avoid uh, ransomware. So your firewall, um, like one major company I'm helping out right now, their firewall is from, uh, from SonicWall. So renew that paid subscription because you want to do packet filtering, packet management, look inside those packets and if something's bad, you know, stop the virus or malware coming through at the border, at the gateway. That extra layer besides your antivirus and the firewalls on your separate clients inside your local area network. <clears throat> so you have your antivirus, a couple different flavors. Um, have your sales group on one and a mixture. Um, your sales group will have mobile laptops and PCs. And so you'll have, you know, maybe Fortinet, uh, Norton, then inside you'll have Microsoft Security Essentials on Windows 10, and then on some Macs you'll have AVG. Um, but have a plan, have a strategy for your antivirus, uh, paid and free um, antiviruses. Mm, the removal tools, make sure you have the removal tools ready in case you need to rip out an antivirus real fast. You can only have one antivirus on a computer, you can't have three. Just fix the laptop. Beautiful laptop, jacked up beyond compare. <laughs> oh my god. Um, three antiviruses, AVG, uh, Norton, and Microsoft Security Essentials. All three of them were there, just totally arguing with each other. Um, you can't have more than one chef in the kitchen. So one antivirus, that's it. Um, take one out, put another one in. Uh, try it for a while. Do the trial, or, do the trial uh, software, trial versions. I do. What else? <clears throat> Oh, one thing about when you install an antivirus, sometimes it'll say send reports or data to the company. Do you do it or not? Um, no, I don't. Not when I install it. But if I do get a virus or a quarantine and it says, can we send this because we don't recognize it? Well, as long as you're not sending everything about everything else I'm doing, sure. Yes, go ahead and send that signature off of something suspicious. My software, Go Green PC Tune-Up, Avast, is a pain in the butt 
it sees my software, Go Green PC Tune-Up, as suspicious, and we've never seen it before. You know, I send that onto all the whitelists for all the antiviruses, and Avast is the worst. Uh, sometimes to install things, you just have to temporarily disable Avast, and I don't recommend doing that, but I have to do it sometimes myself um, just to get things installed. Um, the Avast people, pay attention. Talk to me. Give me a call. Or explain yourself. Uh, I'll be sure I'll send you this link and I'll, I'll tweet to you. Um, it drives me crazy. You guys are the worst. The vast. Um, maybe the beta testers should include um, well-rounded developers, testers, uh, analysts like myself. It's not like I have a lot of time, but if you want me to beta test something, I've got systems I'll put to the side and give you feedback on the UI, the installation, the uninstall, the supportability, the corporate licensing, I mean, all that stuff. Antiviruses. Oh, I'm going to do a shout out to the Tech Lead guy. <laughs> tech Lead, hey, liked your videos. Um, just yesterday you did one on on leadership and, and, and stuff. And, it was, it was good. It was fair. <laughs> I think we're simpatico. I think either you're reading my blog, because I'm not reading yours, but I do go watch you. You're, you're sort of funny. It's like tea time with Tech Lead. It's green screen time with the Go Green PC tune-up guy. Uh, antiviruses. Um, Microsoft Security Essentials, Windows 10. It's, it's a standard. It just goes there. Now, it does argue with you a little bit, and it asks you to go do something. And, and I usually dismiss things like, oh, we need application this. We need to log in this. That's the one thing about Microsoft is they're always saying there's a problem with your account in the notifications. That's wrong. There's nothing wrong with my account. My account is fine. You know, stop bothering me with, oh, we need you to connect your computer to an online account with Microsoft so we can know everything about you. You know, that's... That's a virus in itself. That's, that's, isn't a vi what's the description of a virus? Uh, annoying, unwanted, uh, potentially dangerous. I think that's a privacy issue. Uh, Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, all of them. Microsoft, pay attention. You got hit 20 years ago with some bad stuff, antitrust stuff. You're doing, you're just going to join the party again, selling people's data, if you aren't already. Uh, antivirus. Paid pricing. Uh, the most I've ever seen for a one-year subscription is seventy-nine bucks. Um, that seems a little high. Thirty-nine bucks is fair. When it comes to an antivirus, make sure that um, sometimes there's a warning on the antivirus to say if you're not upgrading your operating system to turn off the antivirus. Uh, yeah, yeah, uninstall it because sometimes it just the upgrade can't get through some things. Now Microsoft. Um, even Linux, um, you know, Linux will prompt you and say you need to elevate your permissions in order to do this. That's good. Uh, I can't think of anything else. What else on antiviruses? I think that's it. That list, um, free versus paid for. We use free. You don't have to pay for it. Um, for the moment, that's it on antiviruses. So uh, like, subscribe, and share, and there will be more to come. This is Andy from Mountain Computers. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.